Hello and welcome back. Today I have another product to show you. It's something I was expecting some time now and I'm really excited about this. Um, it's a solar panel. As you can see, a portable solar panel to charge our devices. One of the things that I believe that is essential now for every one of us, uh, anyone who wants to be prepared for something, uh, even to save some power of our electricity bill, it's something that uh, we should have in our home or even better with us. So I was expecting this panel. I did a small research and uh, read a lot of reviews about solar panels, uh, portable ones, and I came down to this. This cost me about 50 euros, uh, the panel itself, and about 5 euros extra for the shipping costs. So, it just arrived today, and I'm going to show it to you. It's from Big Blue Company, and the model is Solar Power P25. So, it's supposed to be a 25 watt solar panel, which is amazing, if you ask me, for this size. And even if it doesn't give up 25 watts and gives 20, I would be pretty pleased. Let's see some of the specs here on the box. Okay, power 25 watts. It has two USB ports, one USB-A, classic uh, port, which says it gives out 5 volts, 2.4 amps and another USB-C port which gives 5 volts 3 amps and the total output is 5 volts 4 amps I'll be very happy if I see those numbers I mean, I bought this thing to charge up my mobile phone or a power bank on the go or on days that we don't have power so it's for this purpose it's not to charge a big device or something else. I, I bought it exclusively for 5 volt devices. You could charge up a radio with this also. All those radios that we have seen and have a USB-C port will be happily charged by this. Let's see what's in the box. I guess some kind of user manual. Okay, instructions are pretty clear and just says some things that we should uh, have in mind uh, to use the cable provided, uh, USB-C cable is provided, or other certified power cords, yes. If you use a low quality cable, you'll have other problems such as low power, so that's expected. Don't short circuit the product. Overload, twisting, or piercing the product is not allowed, of course. Yeah. Okay. Right. So, let's see, here is the power cable and two of these little things, I guess, to put the panel on your backpack or something like that. A USB C to USB C cable. And this is the panel. Okay. It's kind of a grey fabric on this side. And as you can see, it unfolds this way. And becomes this. Very compact, very easy to carry with you. I really like this thing. I mean, yeah, didn't expect that. Now, the material here is kind of strange. It doesn't look like a typical solar panel. Uh, as I have understood from the website of Big Blue, this is a new material used for the solar panels and it's extremely high efficient. From what I see here, if I shed some light, on this material, underneath it I can see something like the classic solar panel cells. 
But of course, I don't care how it looks as long as it does the job. Let's check the connectors here. This is the USB-A port. And this is the USB-C port, both protected by rubber caps. This is a waterproof solar panel. Of course, it's not to leave it in a thunderstorm, but it will easily take a light rain. Okay, and out of curiosity, I'm going to connect my meter here, but of course, I'm inside the room. It's about 6 p.m. in the afternoon, and I don't expect to see anything. Yeah, it's dead. Right, so I have it here outside. It's in it's afternoon. Uh, the sun is getting on my back, so there's no direct sunlight to the panel. Uh, time is, as you can see, 6:40 p.m. And still, this thing manages to start charging my phone, my Samsung. I'm gonna just. Put some shade here so you can see the screen, maybe zoom in. Of course you're going to see it upside down. As you can see, if you can see it, it says 4.67 volts. and about 008 amperes. Nothing ideal for charging. Still, my phone is, has started charging, even now. Of course, the conditions are not even close to what they should be for this panel to give its optimum charge. I will also have parts for the video that will be in direct sunlight in the morning to see how this thing does. Alright, it's 9.30 in the morning. I don't know if you can see that. I have the solar panel of uh, Big Blue P25 here out in the sun. Of course, the sun is at an angle at the moment. But it's fine. And I have put my phone to charge. I can't show you the screen down here because it's impossible with the sun to read it. From what I have seen, you have to take my word from it. It's about 0.8 to 1.2 amps, maybe a little more. Uh, but my phone here says 14 minutes until uh, full, which means that it's drawing uh, the proper current, not super fast, but the proper one to charge normally at a normal speed. And uh, we'll test it again later in the day at noon to see how better it gets when the sun is directly up. Right, so it's uh, 1.30 p.m. 1.30 p.m. And uh, as you can see, I have put two devices now on the solar panel the P25, my smartphone, and the Powerfunk radio that charges from USB-C. And they're both charging. My phone says 37 minutes because I have both devices on. And the Powerfunk is charging also. One of the, one of the ports is really impossible to show. I don't know if, it's, if it shows, it's very, not very easy. It shows 4.9 volts, about 0 0.6 amps at the moment. So maybe I was expecting a little more to say the truth. But then again, as I said, I bought this for an emergency and to charge uh, power banks. The fact that this Charging both devices at the moment is very good sign for me and if I remove my smartphone and leave only the buff bank, 
let's see what it says it went up to one amp of drawing current 5.28 volts and 1.03 amps going into the radio at the moment uh, it's uh, as I said it's 1.30 p.m. noon uh, sun is totally right above us and I think it's doing a solid job just another test time is 7.45 about in the morning and I have the solar panel out uh, I'm going to charge this radio just to show you voltage is 6.9 volts uh, I don't know if you can see the battery is almost dead so this radio needs to be charged so I'm gonna place it here and come back at uh, I guess 12 o'clock to see how it's going okay time is uh, 12 14 p.m. and the radio is still charging from the solar panel let me see if I can see what voltage it has gone up to 7.98 battery is almost full I'll just leave it on to see how it goes Although outside at the moment you can see the panel is in shade because the sun has turned. All right, time is 1:43 p.m. and as you can see, radio is fully charged now. It took about six hours, I guess. Not bad. So that concludes it for this test. As always, I try to show you things that are useful and that work things that I test myself and some of them I buy for my personal use and I believe that they are of good quality and serve their purpose. So I have to say that one of these is this solar panel. Extremely compact, as you can see. It folds so easily and becomes like a small book. Oh, I think this is about A6 size. And I would really suggest to have a look at this product. As always, you will find links in the description of the video. Thank you for watching. See you next time.